All right, welcome back to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And this one is about alternatives. The things we missed. Also, I'm going to see the very first part of this one that we kind of kind of skipped. Blah. What? What are you Blah. doing? Blah. Let's see. We say work with Piccolo. Bulma, I need to borrow the Dragon Radar for a bit. Oh, uh, of course. Let's go. Think you can keep up with my flying Nimbus? That's the part we missed on the first episode. You gotta be kidding. I'm a cut above the rest of you puny humans when it comes to flying. It bugged me that we didn't have this. So now we can do the alternative stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we, we already know. Right, as I was up to get, get up Gohan. Quickly aims to lead a surprise attack. But they find him with a scouter, and they must fight him head on. That is the original, but we are here for alternatives. Oh, Kakarot. I thought you'd at least be smarter than this. But you have no idea how out of your league you are. Let's skip the pleasantries. We're here to take you down. Simple as that. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer, and I've changed my mind you'd probably just slow the rest of us down and for betraying the saiyan race you will die but hold on we check the battle details nope so now we have to go out to the thing because we want to see the alternative stuff Ah, oh. they just link up anyway. Well, that's interesting. You want to go down here though? They survive a given time. Hell yeah, it just takes you over there. They link up that way too. Oh, whatever. Here go. Okay, we're skipping this because you've you guys have already seen this. We're going straight to the alternative. I need to kill Raditz quickly. That is how we reach it. Oh. So let me just make sure that is the case by checking the things once I press start. Battle details. Alternative objective. Reduce Radis's health quickly. Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. the two Saiyans I mentioned earlier. They're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to that level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow. Huh. Considering how you managed to beat me last time, I want to see if you've gotten any tougher. So don't you disappoint me. Got it, Goku? Piccolo! If you've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, nope. <laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. So you've been developing a new technique too? And just when I thought I might have closed the gap between us. Wait, you got a new move too? Yeah! Yeah, but uh, mine's a little more work in progress. All right, in that case, I'll try and buy you guys a little more time. How about this? Alternative things. Leave him alone! By the way, I'm going for the alternatives that leave the biggest impact. Brats. Not every little single one. 
Please. Check out this. Worthless idiots. That's not gonna be enough. Lightning surprise attack, Master Roshi. What? Master Roshi. Now, Piccolo, end it. Special beam cannon. How could I have been beaten by such a small fry? Goku and his friends work together to beat Raditz. However, he warns them that in a, one year's time, two even stronger Saiyans will visit Earth. Goku contacts his friends and they start a strict training regimen under the watchful eyes of Kami. However, having not been trained in martial arts before, Gohan cannot keep up with them. He tries his best to follow their lead and train, but he knows that he will only hold them back. Then Piccolo arrives. Piccolo points out that they have been too kind to Gohan in their training. He informs them that he will take over Gohan's training. Okay, I'll leave Gohan's training to you. Goku? Are you nuts? I know. The old Piccolo was once our greatest enemy, but this one? After what happened today, I think we can trust him. Know what I mean? He's right. If it wasn't for Piccolo, we'd all be dead. And we've got a mutual enemy, so we could use all the help we can get. Gohan, what do you want to do? Piccolo is an amazing fighter, and if you ask me, I think he might actually be a good guy. Well, I... I want to be strong like you, Dad. So I'll do it. I'll learn how to fight with Mr. Piccolo. Well, if you're that eager, then there's no time like the present. Teach him everything you know, Piccolo. Piccolo and the others complete their training with Kami, and each of them then continue to work on their individual skills. They didn't gather to test the fruits of their labor. You guys have been training hard, huh? You bet. Gotta do our best to catch up with you. I finally finished developing that technique I was teasing before. Can't wait to show you. We're treating today's training as serious as the real battle to come. And we'll showcase all we've learned in preparation. How should we proceed, Goku? Well... I want to fright Krillin. Krillin, you want to train with me? You bet. Now you won't have to wait to see my new moves. This will be great. <laughs> Just like old times. The way the AI works is when they start charging to their max, they don't they don't dodge these type of moves. drawing board.
Cook and the others have tested their power. They return to their training in preparation for the Saiyans' attack. However, they do not have enough time before the Saiyans appear on Earth. Saiyans send multiple Cybermen to test Goku and his friends. With the benefit of their strict training, they easily see off the threat, even Yamcha. Finally, a Saiyan called Nappa decides to confront them directly. Guess I'll be killing Kakarot first! Don't get cocky because you defeated Raditz! I'm twice as powerful as that brat! <laughs> My favorite move is always this. Oh, come on. Oh, I see. <laughs> Vegeta, help me! I have no use for a paralyzed Saiyan. Vegeta kills Nappa without batting an eye, as the latter has lost to Goku. Goku and the others can sense Vegeta's overwhelming power, they divide into two groups. Along with Goku, Tien, and Piccolo, who both have strength left to spare, engage in combat with Vegeta. Gohan, Krillin, Yamcha, and Chao Tzu leave the battlefield. Yamcha survived! Wow! Once Gohan and the others have left, the remaining three begin their battle with Vegeta. Once okay, yeah. Why would you kill your own partner? <laughs> Because I wouldn't be caught dead associating with someone who would be taken down by such low-class warriors. You really get on my nerves. You ought to show some more respect to others than that. Respect? <laughs> You're a poor excuse for a Saiyan. Ah, so you're a Namekian. Namekian? <laughs> Yes, the Namekian people are said to have mysterious hidden abilities. Magical. I see. You must have been the one who created these dragon vultures, aren't you? Wouldn't you like to know? Look. 
Haskam. I'm the Prince of Saiyans. How can he hurt me? Efficiency. Vegeta has been injured by Goku. Enraged, he transforms into a great ape in an attempt to defeat Goku. However, Piccolo had destroyed the moon during his training with Gohan to combat Gohan's great ape transformation. Vegeta realizes the moon isn't there. Instead, he creates a power ball to transform into a great ape. Three of them share the remaining sense of beings between them to face Vegeta's great ape form. Oh god, that is again. <laughs> Don't blink, Kakarot! These will be your final moments before I crush you! Not the same I was before when I fought you the first time. Is my mind? He turned into a giant monkey! This is crazy! How do I fight this thing? Damn it. It was bad enough when Gohan turned into one of these hulking things. But this is the I <laughs> stupid grab. I finally figured it out. The monster that stomped my grandpa Gohan to death. Smashed up the tournament arena all those years ago. That that was me, wasn't it? I might as well let you know. The power level of a Saiyan when they transform into a grade eight is ten times their normal strength. I'll vaporize you. Yes, get back here. Just for that, I'm going to crush you like a I forgot. I need to remember to block that. That's the first one. Oh, he's still alive. Point. Plus, he's still alive. Plan, and I need everyone to pull it off. I mean, you don't see me, so <laughs> and I was hit you from behind. <laughs> now, all three of us need to hit him with a solar flare. Oh, a solar flare combo. It's like what they did to me on Kakarot. Solar Flare! Oh man! A trio! Mars! Sorry, I skipped that. Here goes. Destructo Disc! Sometimes it auto, sometimes it doesn't, it's stupid. Oh man! Quick! Put every ounce of your energy into this next attack! Damn you! Get away. Oh man. He's been weakened enough that Chouts' paralysis is working. Okay, this is our chance, guys. Oh man. <laughs> we did it! Guys! We really did it! We actually managed to beat that guy, and we did it together! <laughs> and Yamcha helped. Yeah, we did, but I don't have much left in me after all that. <laughs> he put up a good fight, but we were more than prepared for him. <gasps> the the Saiyan! Don't worry, Gohan. He can't hurt you now. You were the worst enemy we ever faced. But I guess the least we can do is give you a burial. Who's burying whom? <laughs> Who's burying who? Goku and his friends are certain of their victory. However, Vegeta survives their attack with a sheer... 
immensity of his life force. Goku and the others have used up all of their energy in this life or death struggle. However, little, little it may be, it, it is only Piccolo and Goku who have remaining key. Drawing on that meager amount, they challenge Vegeta once again. Despite Vegeta's counterattacks, Goku manages to withstand them. Goku buys time while Piccolo chooses the right moment to channel the remaining key into his fingertips. Filthy Namekian! What do you hope to do with such little... Mm -hmm. Now! Piccolo! Do it! Special Beam Cannon! Does Goku end up dying anyway? Vegeta narrowly dodges Piccolo's attack and frees himself from Goku's hold. Oh no! G Goku! As a result, Goku takes the full brunt of Piccolo's special beam cannon and loses consciousness. When Goku comes to, he sees Gohan cornered by Vegeta. Daddy! No! My son! And my friends! No! Get away! With his life on the line, Goku's final punch collides with, with Vegeta. Vegeta takes the full fr force of the punch and summons his spaceship in an attempt to return home. Krillin determined to deter Vegeta from escaping, moves in for the finishing blow. But with his final breath, Goku stops him. Krillin, I'm begging you. Just let him go. I know it, it's selfish, but I don't, I don't want him to die. These final words, Goku takes his last breath. Choosing to honor Go Goku's final wish, Krillin listens, allowing Vegeta to escape. We'll bring Goku back to life with the Dragon Balls. And the next time we meet, you're going down for good! Krillin's final words will soon invite not only Vegeta, but even more terrifying enemies to attack Earth. However, no one can foresee that yet. Are you trying to say it's DLC? As for Goku, after his death in the battle with Vegeta, Kami arranges for him to train under the watchful gaze of King Kai. Goku has grown stronger by training with his companions and battling other Saiyans. He arrives before King Kai within mere days. Meanwhile, back on Earth. Concerned by Vegeta's use of the word Namekian, Piccolo decides to travel to planet Namek on a spaceship that was once used by Kami. Gohan, wishing to become as strong as possible before a Saiyan attacks Earth again, ignores Chi Chi and decides to travel with Piccolo to train under him. Interesting. Nearly one month later, Goku surprises King Kai by quickly mastering the Kai Ken and Sphere Bomb. However, King Gai soon notices that Vegeta is once again on a, on a course for Earth. Oh man. Goku rushes to notify his friends that they need to revive him with the Dragon Balls. He is then back on Earth within a few hours. Goku and his companions then travel to the site where Vegeta's key is, is and they prepare for battle. Vegeta! I didn't expect to face you again so soon! Kakarot! If you've been revived, that means the Dragon Balls really do live up to the rumors. That's good! Listen up, all of you! If you don't want to die, you need to let me use these Dragon Balls to become immortal! <coughs> if you don't believe me, believe this! The Dragon Balls are being sought after by Frieza, the self-proclaimed Emperor of the Universe! F frieza And I can assure you, not a single Earthling could ever match his power! Frieza is considered absolutely invincible! But if I'm granted immortality, I can kill him and spare all your lives. So if you know what's good for you, hand over the Dragon Balls. You, you gotta be kidding me. After what you did to Goku, why would we ever let you make a wish on the Dragon Balls? Yeah, no offense, but I find it hard to believe there's anyone who could be stronger than Goku anyway. Vegeta, even if you're telling the truth, I'm still not gonna let you use the Dragon Balls. And besides, the Earth is ours to defend. <laughs> Fine, then I'll just have to take them by force. Fight number two. Guys, if it's okay, could you leave this one to me? You got it. We're counting on you, Goku. Take this! You got you! Vegeta, I can tell you've 
gotten even stronger than last time. Am I right? Naturally. You see, every time Saiyans recover from the brink of death, they grow more and more powerful. So don't even think this is going to go the same way as last time. <laughs> I'm not dumb enough to underestimate you like that. If anything, I was going to say the exact same thing to you. Silence! I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince of all Saiyans! Leagues upon leagues ahead of you! Here it goes! Kakarot, what would you say to forming a temporary alliance with me to defeat Frieza? An alliance? It will still take some time before Frieza arrives on your planet. If the two of us train until then, we might be able to take him down together. Hold on. If this Frieza person is aiming to attack Earth, then how did you manage to get here before him? Frieza travels in a gargantuan mothership, so my more compact space pod allow me to land here much quicker. None of this changes the fact that we can't trust you. Guys, I think Vegeta's actually telling us the truth. I don't think he'd ever sacrifice his pride as a Saiyan warrior to lie about somebody being stronger than him. I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. If anything, I think he'd much sooner die trying to steal the Dragon Balls than sacrifice his pride. Th then there really is someone stronger than you and Vegeta? And they want to conquer Earth? I believe you, and I think we have no other choice but to join forces. With that, Goku and his companions begin cooperating with Vegeta to confront Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, who is on his way to attack Earth. While Goku and Vegeta begin training, Bulma and the others are tasked with keeping in contact with Piccolo and Gohan as they travel to planet Namek. Vegeta and Goku train together, refining their combat skills using the gravity chamber developed by Bulma's father. One day, the team detects Frieza's key approaching Earth and realizes that the moment has finally come. Due to the massive size of that key, Tien decides to leave Chachu behind while Goku and his friends travel to Frieza's expected landing point. They are attacked during their travels by Vegeta's former rival, Q, but Vegeta has grown stronger from training and defeats him easily. So, which one of you wants to die next? Don't start getting a swollen head just because you beat Queen, Vegeta! Dodoria and Zarbon! I might have known you'd show your sorry faces. You're even more foolish than I thought, Vegeta. Did you think teaming up with these Earthlings would put you on equal footing with Frieza? <laughs> and you're as foolish as I thought if you think I'd be relying on Earthlings. Wait. I recall Lord Frieza saying something about a Saiyan survivor that had been sent to the distant blue planet, Earth. A Saiyan who was raised on Earth? That'd be me. <laughs> a couple of monkeys flocking together. If the Saiyan race couldn't survive a little meteor, what makes you think you could survive against us? <laughs> Let's just make the last two idiots go extinct! That's a good enough distance. It will. Get ready to see my real strength. Where are you aiming? 
dragon rush. Oh, that is so gonna miss. Is it going over his head? No, I have no one looking stupid. Since you can't finish the job, allow me. Share your energy with me! You do better than that. I'm not done yet. Share your energy with me! This is a three times spirit bomb. What do you got? Ah oh, shit, wait, I'm right behind him. Fuck. For a spirit bomb. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Yes! Let's see that damage! Oh man! Woo! Got your ass handed to you, buddy. Oh, both. You got destroyed! Goku and Vegeta have defeated Dodori and Zarbon. As Dodori attempts to flee, Vegeta deals the finishing blow. Goku is about to re reprimand Vegeta for taking the life of an enemy. Who had given up, all of a sudden a new enemy ar ar arrives. The Freezer Force Elite Squadron, the Ginyu Force, appears in front of them. <laughs> the first blood is mine to draw. Remember, Guldo, orders were to only kill one of them each. Don't get greedy. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hi. <laughs> I'll give you one last chance to leave this planet peacefully. I'd take it if I were you. What did you say? Ha <laughs> ha! What a gentleman this guy is, Guldo. Caring about your well-being. Damn Saiyans for getting their place. I'm gonna show you why the whole galaxy fears the Ginyu Force. Where are you aiming, buddy? Turn. 
He becomes annoyed when it's in Goto and Goku's battle. He begins arguing that they have no time to fight one on one. He first agrees with Vegeta's proposal and, joining it with Goto, they all come together as one to attack Goku and his friends. You maggots clearly don't understand, so I shall illustrate. We are the best of the best of the Frieza Force! Nay, the entire galaxy! Raccoon! Beta! Jice! Guldo! Ginyu! Now, men, slaughter them all with style. With style. So we're fighting more seriously now. All right, fine. We're gonna be fighting more seriously now, so here we go. Yeah. Ice. Let's go. Yeah. That's the best you get. Let's just whittle you all down one by one. Did I get being my son a weakling? Goku, you okay? I've got the little guy taken care of. Hey now, it's bad manners to interrupt somebody's business. Share your energy with me. Big Kim? Erase again! I won't let you do that. Let's go below. I missed. I'm here. I'm here. I'm not done yet. Share your in. Indeed, you are here. Oh, you are? Where are you going? I need to get better at the game, so let's go. There you are. You're already dead. Dark. 
You won't get the switch. All right, <laughs> you can enter now. Regain the fastest in the whole damn universe. I guess that makes Goku the new fastest in the universe. Being a number two Take fits you me. pretty well, though. Shut your face. Oi, are you gonna waste the whole rest of the day on these piss ants? All right, I'm jumping in. Get ready to see my real strength. Get <laughs> Share your energy with me. I'm not done yet. I have to save the spirit bone for, for the final one. This is what I wanted a hard fight. Just because they're sending so many at me. Let's go all the way. Bunch join the party. Yeah. All right, let's. You got guts, pal. Guts. Share your energy with me. This hit you, I win. For a spirit bomb. Darn. Damn it. Not quite. Share your energy with me. Let's go for level two, level one. is unstoppable unstoppable i tell you whoa combining their powers goku and vegeta forced the ginyu force into retreat you know their will is broken goku orders them to return to their planet instead the ginyu force spots an opening and tries to kill goku while his guard is down only to be cut down themselves by vegeta after Vegeta's devastating attack, it is only Ginyu who remains when the enemy's leader, Frieza, emerges. Frieza orders Ginyu to search for the Dragon Balls as Ginyu leaves, Vegeta follows in pursuit. Next, Frieza offers Goku and his friends a chance to join the Frieza Force. Goku, of course, turns his offer down, but he can sense that Frieza is far from stronger than any enemy they faced before. It is then that Vegeta, who is supposed to be pursuing Captain Ginyu, returns to Goku and the others. But the they, they know what is happening. Vegeta begins attacking Goku and friends before they know what happened. Ah, oh, it's Captain Ginyu. Now I can know how strong Vegeta truly is with a first hand experience. Oh man, he's Vegeta now. Vegeta, what do you think you're doing? Oh, Ginyu, before exterminating the Earthlings, you should take care of that other Saiyan first. Yes, my lord. That's Ginyu? What the hell's going on? Is Vegeta betraying us or what? I'm not sure, but we have to keep on fighting or we're toast. I got my health back. That was stressful. Kakarot, don't you dare injure my body! Is that... can you? Wait, your body? No, no way! Too late. He's already dead. Darn. 
Oh, he dodged it. Slow on the uptake, aren't we? Yes, my special power allows me to swap bodies with another. Vegeta's strength is mine to wield. Pardon me, Captain Ginyu. Have you forgotten my orders to obtain the Dragon Balls? No, of course not, Gordon. No, of course not. But why? Even using Vegeta's body, why can't I kill you? Because you're dead. There's no other choice then. I'll just take your body instead. Change now! Kakarot, get out of the way! Peter blocks and uses attempt, forcing him back into his own body. <laughs> I knew you'd use your power again soon enough. You've outlived your usefulness, Vegeta. I'll wind up with a lower power level, but desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> Ginyu is temporarily stunned. Tia narrowly avoids having his body stolen. Ginyu is temporarily stunned. You froze for a second. What happened? That technique. It must be. Chotsu! Catfrog. Worried about his friend, Chotsu follows behind, being careful not to be noticed. Chachu uses his Tekanesis to change Ginyu's body with the frogs, and the battle is won. Concerned for the wounded, Goku, Vegeta, Krillin, and the others hand them sensor beans to heal. Even to them, it's painfully clear that Goku cannot defeat the Frieza alone, and that Vegeta's help would be required. However, Frieza's in a rage at seeing his underling beaten, and he, he goes after Goku and the others. Unable to bear seeing his friends hurt anymore, Goku challenges Frieza to a one-on-one -on -one fight. You wish to do battle with me one on one? <laughs> I have never encountered such an overconfident imbecile in my whole life. <laughs> I'll let you in on something, Kakarot. Frieza's race can transform to become stronger. Well, someone's done his homework, hasn't he? So you know my little secret? Let's just say some of your elite soldiers have loose lips. He can transform? You mean like that great ape stunt you pulled? You mustn't put me in the same league as your hideous transformation. In my case, I'm merely holding back the full force of my awesome power. If that's the case, go ahead and transform. I wouldn't want you to feel the shame of being defeated without being at your full strength. Oh, you're going to suffer dearly for such an insult. Rejoice! You will have the honor of being killed by my transformed state! Now, feast your eyes! That is so cool. Oh, I like that transformation. That is so cool. What incredible energy! His power is practically doubled! You're in for it now. My second form makes the one you're familiar with look as gentle as a sleeping kitty. Sleeping kitty. Here it goes. Down below. I like the damage numbers. Get ready to see my real strength. 
This is taking longer than I wanted. <laughs> it never gets old. Freeze it is in the midst of the next step of transformation and tends to show Goku and his friends just how much more powerful than them he really is. And to further plunge Goku into the depths of despair, Freezer orders his soldiers to limit Goku's wounded allies. Just as a legion of troops appear from Freezer's spaceship, Master Roshi arrives to bring Chatsu back home. Our heroes get the last of their sensu beings to Goku and entrust him to defeat Frieza while fighting Frieza's soldiers despite their own, own wounds. Armed with the sensu beings and the hopes of his companions, Goku takes the battle to Frieza one last time. Kakarot! Vegeta! <laughs> Are you afraid? Have you realized that even combined your power pales in comparison to mine? Kakarot, even you wouldn't be stupid enough to fight Frieza if you didn't think you had a chance of winning. Yeah. That's right. If I use my spirit bomb technique, I think I can beat him. But even then, it's got such a slim chance of working. Gathering enough energy for it takes more time than we have. What the, what the hell are you going to do? I'm not risking the others' lives in this battle. So if we don't have an opening, I'm just gonna have to make one. Idiot, it's a futile effort. Neither you nor I have any chance of beating him! How can a low-class warrior like you ever hope to topple Frieza? <laughs> this may steal a bit. It's been amusing, but I've grown tired of this charade. So I believe it's time to end this poor excuse for a battle. And my reward to you for all your valiant efforts. The privilege of seeing my final transformation. My true power! <laughs> now get ready! Me. This is a no level three. Save. Now I will show you a terror far greater than hell itself. What are you waiting for? Eat that last sense of being a bit quick about it. Vegeta! But, but what about? Just eat the damn thing before I burn it to ashes with the last of my strength. Forgive me, Vegeta. Don't shut up. You're far more wounded than I am. Don't start giving me your worthless sympathy. You're nothing like any Saiyan I've ever met in my entire life. Warrior who fights to protect me they care about. Such a nature was frowned upon in our culture. Vegeta? Yet you still don't understand what it means to be a Saiyan. So now I'll set the example. You'll never learn when it's time to lay down and die, will you? Vegeta! Here I am. 
As well. K Kami? Ah! I feel it. It's not much, but every little bit helps. Right, buddy? We're fighting alongside you to the very end. We believe in you, Goku. I don't know. I was kind of kind of kicking his ass there. I think I got it. An episode. What's this? Can you go first person episode? It, you can. Is that what I think it is? I, I've never seen a mass of energy that size. Dish. Ah, how unfortunate for you. Don't you hate it when a plan falls apart? I know I certainly do, but nice try. No! No, damn it! Special beam! Gohan! Piccolo! What are you doing here? How is that brat? And that Namekian still drawing breath? I thought they'd been taken care of! I'm beset on all sides by sneaky parasitic flies! You just won't rest until I've been pushed to the limits of my patience! You meddling brats! I hope you all enjoy suffering the same fate as this planet! <laughs> Okay, it's finally ready. Do it! Go, go! What have you done? This is child's play. Stop this thing. Trick them, you dial. I will not. With the help of his friends, Goku successfully defeats Frieza with the Spear Bomb. Goku asks why Piccolo and the other Namekians are on Earth, as they should be on planet Namek. It seems as if Piccolo and the others have been able to immediately teleport to Earth by using the Dragon Balls on planet Namek. Typically, true heroes are the only ones worthy of, of obtaining the Dragon Balls. However, once it is discovered that the God of the Earth is, is a Namekian, permission to use the Dragon Balls was granted. Afterward, a Namekian boy called Dende uses some mysterious powers to heal the wounded. This is Goku and his friends are expressing their gratitude. A fully recorded Vegeta appears. This is where our alliance ends, Kakarot. I will no longer be fighting alongside you people. And mark my words, one day soon I will defeat you. Seriously? Ugh, I was this close to inviting him to the victory party too. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll show up when the party starts. I think we're growing on him. Actually, the next time we see Vegeta, I think he'll be intending to fight us for real. What? And like you said, who knows? Don't scare me like that, Goku! <laughs> At the very least, Frieza and his army won't be a threat to Earth anymore. Yeah, and if Vegeta does come back, I doubt it'll be anytime soon. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally starving! Thanks to the bravery of Goku and the others, Frieza is defeated. The planet Earth and the whole galaxy are at peace for now. The war was won, but the battles are far from over, for there are many other fearsome foes looming on the horizon. For Goku and the rest of our heroes, the saga continues. The side-by-side -side chapter of Goku Saga. Cool. That was another one. <laughs>